Hey boys and girls, I went to a Lush yesterday and I wanted to show you what I picked up because I'm kind of stoked about it. I've not been to Lush in a while. It... Yeah, I feel like it's been like a solid two to three months, which is a while for if you're a Lush fan. Um, because you gotta stock up on your goodies, so that's what I did and, you know, I, um... Sorry about this camera. Um, I had jury duty. I didn't actually... Like, I wasn't actually on, like, the jury, but it was, like, selected to be, like, possibly one of the people, so it still took my entire morning, and it was, like, five hours long, and I just sat there, and, like, eh, it was just kind of miserable, but it took me downtown where there's a Lush, because, um, that's, you know, closest Lush to me, so, you know, it's kind of a pain to get there, otherwise I really just don't like having to go down there just for Lush, so I kind of did kill two birds with one stone and just went shopping afterwards, and I just treated myself a little bit because it was just a really long, boring morning, so that is this. So I'm kind of stocked up for fall, um, and I'll just kind of reach in and show you the stuff. First of all, shout out to Erica, I believe was her name, that helped me. However, she forgot to grab one thing for me, and I know she grabbed it, but she didn't ring it through. And it was the Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly. If you ever have ever been to Lush, they have, it's called Shower Jellies. They're basically like, they're literally like a gel in a little pot that can be used as like shampoo or body, or as like soap, like a, almost like a solid um, shower gel. And she showed me on my arm, she did a little combo. She washed with that, and then she did this body scrub that was like a blueberry scent, and then she did, um, like a chocolatey body lotion. So it was supposed to be like blueberry muffins. And she was really excited, and she showed me the combo. And I was like, you know what, let her, let her do her thing and show me. And it smelled so good, and I was like... I didn't initially get everything at first, but by the end of it, I got almost everything, and she made me a sample of, like, a powder that she used to set everything, but she didn't ring it through, so I'm kind of sad about that, but, you know, what can you do? Maybe I'll just pick it up next time, but, um, I did get a lot of black currant things, which is, like, the blueberry black currant -y kind of scent. Um, the, the sample she did make was the Vanilla Puff Dusting Powder. I don't know if you've ever tried this. Let me know if you have. It's just, like, a powder, and it has, like, their vanilla scent which is like not like a sweet vanilla it's more of like a almost like a powdery vanilla kind of like if you mix vanilla and baby powder a little bit um but it's good it's kind of refreshing but it's um she did it just to kind of seal in the moisture from like your moisturizer which is a cool idea i've never tried it um so i said i'd give it a try but i'm not like uh, hooked on the idea, idea so i didn't buy it but she did make it simple that she did make, it, make, make a sample, too, of the Dirty Shaving Cream, which I don't shave using a normal shaving razor, so I'm going to try to figure out a way to use this, but it was sweet of her, nonetheless. Um, so, yeah. I'll just reach things and show them to you. There was a couple themes going on here. I got, like, vanilla, black currant, and rose. Those were, like, the three scents that are in all the products versus the bath bomb in Vanilla Fountain. And it looks like this. Super cute. It's like yellow and it has like a vanilla sprig in it or whatever it's called. Vanilla pod. Um, what's it called? Whatever this is called. The vanilla bean thing. And it smells... It's like I said, it's their um, vanilla scent. But it's not like super sweet. It's more of like a pure vanilla. More like vanilla extract. But it's a little bit more like musky. It's nice though. It's really like a rich vanilla. Very decadent. Like a grown-up vanilla, I'm going to call it. But yeah, I like it, and I've never tried this. So I thought that'd be nice for fall. Like a rich kind of vanilla. Let's see. Next, we have a little bubble rune, which is basically a bubble bar. And this is in Rose Jam. I've tried one of these before. I tried the orange one, which is like orange and chocolate. This one is like their rose scent, which I'm obsessed with. It is like... It's like a, almost like a fruity rose, very florally, but it has a sense of sweetness to it, so it's not like perfumey rose. It's like a really, like, warm kind of rose. It's very friendly and just kind of perks me up a little bit. And it um, has, like, the pink stuff in the center, which is apparently, like, moisturizing. It's like oils. 
So yeah, I love that rose scent and I'm excited to try that one. This one's really fresh too. It's really soft. So you get at least two baths out of those, which is nice. They have a new bath bomb too that smells like that. It's called Rose Queen. Next I got a Comfort Comforter Bubble Bar. I've used this up before. But, you know, I got a new one. And it has like their black currant out smell. Very sweet, just like fruity berry deliciousness. Something like vanilla and berries. It's delicious. And this is massive. I literally am anticipating six baths out of this. So that's really nice if you want some bang for your buck. Definitely a nice choice. And I think it'll be nice for fall too. As you, if you can't tell, I'm in total fall mode. I am loving it. Next we have another bath bomb. This is Space Girl. I think it's called Space Girl. And this is cute. It kind of looks like... What are those candies? They're like the little wafers. They kind of look like this. And it looks like a little like a little spaceship. And it has glitter on it. And Erica said that it's this one, it kind of fizzes. Um, it just makes your bathtub look like space. So I was like, I'm in. Why not? And it has that same scent as like the comforter. Like that sweet berry kind of blackberry kind of scent. Something kind of current. It's nice. I like it. So there's that one. Excited to try that. I um, always have to try new bath bombs. This is the bar that she used after she did the Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly, which has the black currant smell, and then she topped it off with this. And this is a body butter, which I haven't used one of these for a while. They're basically like a solid bar of, like, butters. But this one is really, like, scrubby. It has... I think she said charcoal in it, as well as like solid beads, so it actually really nicely like scrubs and exfoliates. This is called You Snap the Whip. And it's supposed to be just like, you know, whipping your skin into submission. Um, and just really scrubbing away all the dead skin. It's like moisturizes because it has those butters and it has that delicious sweet smell like the comforter and any of those other things that I showed you. Yeah, I like it. It's a little bit melty if your hands are warm. It's really soft, but it does, once you, like, get it wet, and you just use it on wet skin in the shower, it just really um, scrubs and exfoliates really nicely, which will be nice for winter and, you know, drier weather or cooler times. So I will definitely give that puppy a shot. Next we have some potted things, and these are the last things that I have. First is Charity Pot. I actually am just about running out of my first one. I showed you in my last Lush haul. And this is basically just a hand and body lotion. It's mostly fair trade cocoa, but cocoa butter. So it smells a little bit chocolatey. But it's like a natural chocolate. It's all like natural things. And it's just a really great lightweight lotion. It sinks in. It just hydrates. And it doesn't leave like that really greasy film, which I don't like. So this is perfect like before bed. Um, I haven't used it as a hand lotion yet because it's not like super thick and hydrating. It's just like a lightweight lotion, but I love this um, after like a bath or a shower. And their charity pot, 100% of the selling price, or the proceeds, it's not the selling price, of the proceeds um, goes to different charities. This one went to Pets and Friends, which is I think, um, you know, like bringing pets to senior, uh, senior homes and like things like that. So, you know, you can kind of choose which one you want. So, Pets and Friends, so there's that. So it's a great cause. It's kind of like Max Viva Glam, which I'm obviously passionate about um, at MAC. So this is their equivalent. So I'd love to support that. And it's a great body lotion. I've used up an entire pot, so that's my second one. Another thing that I actually used up was a little version of the, um, this one. is the Rose um, Argan Body Conditioner. This stuff is delicious. It's a body conditioner if you've never tried one. It's exactly what it sounds like when you're um, in the shower and your skin's wet. You kind of slather this on, let it kind of sink in for like a couple minutes, and then you rinse it off. Not entirely like rinse it off, just to get like enough of it off. And then you just pat dry, and it's like you literally condition your body. Most of the time when I use this, I won't even use moisturizer. If my skin's really dry, then I'll go in with like a lotion. But this is just great to really just do a lot of the work for you. And it looks like this. It's like a light, like caramel color. And it smells, obviously, like roses. It's the same scent as that bubble bar that I showed you. Just very sweet rose. So, yeah, that is that. Definitely give that a try. If you have not, go to your local Lush store and grab a sample and try it. You're going to love it. And I'm just kind of obsessed. So, yeah. It just smells so good. So, there's that. Continuing on with the whole 
cream and lotion theme that I have going on. Um, I told Erica that I have dry skin and she kind of went crazy with all these hydrating things, but that's okay with me because they're really nice things. So this is Vanilla Delight. It's a body lotion. And it says, Hand and Body Cream, our rich vanilla and almond lotion made of cocoa butter, coconut oil, and sweet comforting vanilla will soften and scent your skin beautifully. And yeah, this is pretty basic. It's, it's like a lotion, but it smells really good. And the ingredients are really nice. Again, it says same. It smells just like vanilla fountain, the bath bomb. Definitely going to use this after I take a bath at that, just to layer that whole vanilla theme. It's just such a light, like, non-overpowering vanilla, which is often a struggle, because I like vanilla, but I don't always want to be, like, super sweet. So it's just really lightweight, and it feels really nice and sinks in, so there's that. The final thing that I tried this time around is this almonds and coconut smoothie. I'd always seen this at Lush, but I was, I was always like, who uses that? And I was just like, so I picked it up and actually smelled it this time. I was like, wait. I was like, it can't smell this good. And I like, I just kept smelling it. And so she was like, have you ever tried that? And I was like, no. So she kind of like took me over to like the bowl of water and did it on my other hand. And like, I was just like, oh, wow. Like, it was just so soft. And my, like, my skin had never felt that soft while washing like with a lotion of course you can make it really soft but just with washing i was like wow so it looks like this i have used this and it's just like a thick cream like it won't even move it's just it's like almost like a cream consistency but it's like a body wash and it smells like vanilla and it has stuff to cleanse and it's kind of like use it kind of like a shower gel i tried it with a loofah didn't really like it that way so i kind of just took a scoop and just kind of like worked it into the skin and it lathers not like really lathers but it's like a creamy lather and once you rinse it off your skin is so just soft and moisturized i love it to me i got this mostly because of the smell it smells like icing it smells like buttercream icing i don't know if everyone's gonna smell it the exact same way but to me it smells legit just like vanilla icing it is so yummy i want to slather this all over my body for the rest of my life and I probably will. It smells good. It's just wonderful. It's a creamy pot of goodness. Just try it. I'm obsessed. Alright guys, that is all for now. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these or about or if you have any thoughts, if you've tried them, if you have any combos or you know just things that you're loving out from Lush. Let me know. I'm always open to new Lush ideas, new scents and fun new things to try. So yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. That is all for now, guys. Bye.